Holly Williams has reported extensively throughout the Middle East. She joins us from Erbil, Iraq. Holly, what does the death of Soleimani mean for the tensions between the U.S. and Iran and in the region as a whole? The Pentagon says its drone strike targeting Major General Qasem Soleimani was aimed at deterring future attacks by Iran. It's part of President Trump's so-called maximum pressure campaign against the Iranians. But there are fears that the killing of Soleimani, a revered figure in Iran and some other places in the Middle East, could see simmering tensions between the U.S. and Iran turn explosive. The loss of Qasem Soleimani is a heavy blow to Iran. He was a war hero, the commander of Iran's feared Quds Force, responsible for secretive foreign operations. He wasn't well known in the United States, but he was one of the most powerful figures in the Middle East, sometimes even touted as a possible future leader of Iran. For America, though, General Soleimani was a problem. In April last year, the U.S. designated the Quds Force a foreign terrorist organization. We are sending a clear signal, a clear message to Iran's leaders, including Qasem Soleimani and his band of thugs, that the United States is bringing all pressure to bear to stop the regime's outlaw behavior. The Pentagon says Soleimani was responsible for the deaths of hundreds of American and coalition service members and also approved the attack on the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad this week. But even many of Soleimani's enemies admitted he was a military genius. He spearheaded Iran's involvement in the Syrian civil war, helping to shore up the Syrian regime's grip on power. And in Iraq, ironically, he and his forces were on the same side as the US, fighting against ISIS. By killing Qasem Soleimani, the US has stripped Iran of an inspirational military leader. But it's also further inflamed dangerously high tensions. Iran has already vowed to take, quote, harsh revenge. Holly Williams, CBS News, Erbil, Iraq.